Imagine a real life multiverse. Picture infinite worlds where you did everything you didn't do in this universe. Where you traveled everywhere you wanted to go and beyond. Imagine having endless versions of yourself with abilities, knowledge and memories that you could access from this world. You could be anything. You could be everything, everywhere, all at once. Mrs. Wang, Mrs. Wang, Mrs. Wang, are you with us? I am paying attention. But let's start from the beginning. A long time ago, I heard about hypotheses of infinite universes or the rather popular multiverse from nowadays. And I cannot explain why, but I found myself fascinated by the possibility of endless universes in an infinite number of worlds just like this one. In my mind, it was as if I was present in all of those universes, only it was a different version of myself. Different eras, different looks, different languages, different people in different places. Everything could vary except for my essence, as if my soul was just my own, untransferable, and I could live infinite lives throughout eternity, no matter which shape I took, so long as I remained myself. Gosh, that sounds entirely too self-centered. Anyway, ever since I learned about this multiverse, I've often found comfort in the idea that there is another me in another world who is very different from the person that I am today, but at the same time is exactly who I once wanted to be. A version of myself who did all of the things I didn't do. Someone who said yes to the things I said no to and no to the things I said yes to. A Kara who was very similar to me, the Alpha Kara so to speak, and it created a completely different life from the one I am living, one decision at a time. This idea of the multiverse comforts me for many reasons. Whenever I feel sad, for instance, I think that somewhere out there, in the vast unknown, there is a Kara who feels incandescently happy instead. It doesn't really make me feel any less sad, but after some time, the idea eases the ache in my chest a little bit. Other times, it helps me with the struggle of making tough decisions. We've all been at a crossroads, forced to lean one way or the other, and I've always hated the fact that we can't have it all. I mean, it's not like I would even know what to do if I indeed had it all, but I dislike the lack of an option. So when it comes to saying yes or no, moving forward or staying put, I like to turn to my imagination and fantasize about a world in which I make the other choice. Sometimes it helps and sometimes I'm too late, but it doesn't really matter because there's always something to take away from these ventures into other perspectives. And it also makes me think of all the other things I could be instead. Angry, confused, proud, amused, bored, an alien, a cat, a cartoon. I don't know, I think I just really like the idea that there are other worlds that I can go to through my imagination whenever I need a break from my own reality or because I'm looking for some reassurance that I'm not the only one experiencing something. Even though I'm clearly not the only one to ever experience something because there's literally billions of us. But anyway. This film, written and directed by the Daniels, is a story about a seemingly ordinary woman who is entrusted with saving the multiverse from a great evil. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today, uh, no time to help you. At first glance, it seems like it's filled with all of the randomness that comes from possibilities because the writers probably didn't want to cut anything from the script and instead decided to put it on a bagel. But at its core, this movie is really about the strangest force we've ever encountered in this universe. Love. We see many types of love represented on screen, and it serves to give us a glimpse of all the ways that one emotion can impact our lives. See how it moves us in different directions. But because we're usually too close, we're not able to see how a simple action can shape the path we're walking on. And the greatest thing about it is that it shows us that things could still be different. I mean, it's quite fun imagining all of those universes, but the point of doing it is not simply to run away from reality. And I think the point of telling a story with so many layers is less about indulging in all of the ridiculous things that you could put on a script or a bagel, although the indulging part is pretty fun, and more about knowing that it's possible. And that's a very human thing, isn't it? We can't help but wonder. It's not just about looking into our past or dreaming about a future. We also live inside those bubbles of suspended time filled with illusions and both the things we want to remember for as long as we can and the things that we might never be able to forget. Still, we wonder. We write stories, make music, paint pictures, and of course, we find a way to put it all together, like in a movie or a YouTube video. We might never know if things could have actually been different, if we could have been different, but we'll probably never stop wondering anyway. So, should I need it, there is a world where I can be anything. A world where I can have a million conversations until I figure out what it is exactly that I want to say, and a world where I can feel like a superstar. I'd be a person, yes? 
A girl, woman, friend, lover, loved one, mother, father, child, a musician, composer, singer, pianist. Hell, I'd be a piano, or one of the strings of the piano, a key. I'd like to be wood that was previously tree, that was previously nothing but particles floating in the air in the exact same way as a wave of sound travels through space and then fades into everything. I'd be the tennis player I dreamt of becoming when I was little, but I'd also be a racket, a tennis court. I'd be the crisp sound that echoes upon crashing at just the right angle into the head of a racket. I'd be a writer and I'd spend my days writing stories about multiverses and whatnot. I'd be a poet. I'd arrange all the letters in all the languages into an exceptional poem. I'd be the kind of poem that someone needs as a boat needs a lighthouse. The kind of verse that resonates in someone's bones for the rest of their lives because how could it not? I'd be a sunset and all of the colours in it, the seas, the forests and every grain of sand, a rock. I'd be the clouds and the rain, the smell of petrichor and the feeling of drops on your skin. If it were as simple as wanting something, I'd be everything, everywhere, all at once. Well, at least for like a minute until it probably becomes too much to bear and I want to put everything into a giant black hole with the shape of a bagel and let it consume me and everything else. If we're talking about endless possibilities, we got to keep in mind the dark ones, you know? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already seen this movie at least 57 times, please do yourself a favor and go watch it. It's like really cool, but you know, don't take my word for it. And if you have seen it, do let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Thanks again, take care, and until next time, bye. Why do you look so stupid?